Hey everyone, one go better Cody here, here, okay, okay, Coco, and, and welcome back, back uh, uh, to another ep- episode of, of my Halo, Halo Crit series. If this is your first time, first time watching, uh, thanks, you know, I think pretty dope, dope. Um, if you haven't watched any of the videos before, maybe start with question zero, uh, just to get an overall idea of what this was. Um, but if you don't need to, you know, that's cool too. Thanks for dropping in. And if you watch, uh, my videos before this isn't your first time. This is dope that you came back. Um, so like I said, this is the next video in the Halo Crypt series, um, an online cryptic hunt, and this is question one. So what we have here, I have it up on the screen. It says 1000x, 1 million laws.com. And then the hint, uh, if we click it, it takes us to this XML file uh, for google.com. Um, there's all sorts of stuff, Google, flights, business, uh, sheets, um, just all sorts of things. It's not immediately obvious what we need to do. Um, so we could go to one millions.com, uh, uh, one million laws.com to see what it is. And it's literally just one million laws. Um, interesting thing about it though, it's actually like, I expected it to be LOL. Let me zoom in. I expected it to be like LOL, 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 but it's just repeating LOL, OLL, uh, which is not, you know, has no bearing on the problem whatsoever. I just thought it was interesting. Um, definitely what, a, what I wasn't expected when I saw 1 million laws. Um, so it's not immediately obvious what you might have to do, but in order to solve this problem, I just did some Googling um, and I kind of stumbled upon the connection that the problem was hinting at. Um, so 1,000 uh, X, you know, 1,000 1, times, uh, and then 1 million is the key thing here. So 1,000 um, times 1 million is 1 billion, and then lols, you know, LOL, laugh out loud. Um, so it's supposed to be 1 billion laughs, and the dot com isn't really necessary except in the context of like, XML files like the ones that were provided in the hint. So what this all ties to is something called the billion last attack. And as you can see, I already looked it up. Um, and it says that it's a type of denial of service or DDoS, not even a DDoS, um, that's not distributed, it doesn't say, but just a, a DOS attack, um, which is aimed at parsers of XML documents. So this is actually the first time that I learned about this. Um, and uh, it was kind of like, I think this moment was the moment, you know, obviously it's only the second question, but this was the moment where I was like, okay, I want to make sure that at least for my own personal benefit, I can go back and learn about the things a little deeper um, than I could during the competition. Because like I said in the first video, you're just kind of rushing through, you know, you're not really taking your time. Uh, you're just trying to, you know scroll through and then find whatever uh, is the, you know, what you think is the most pertinent information in order to solve. Um, and so it's actually really cool. They call it XML bomb. I've heard of zip bombs, but I've never heard of an XML bomb before. Um, but what it kind of, the way it kind of works, um, and there are details, and I'll post this in the description in case, you know, you don't want to read it on my screen. You want to read it, you know, for yourself or click these citations or whatever, or get a deeper dive. Um, and I only have a basic understanding, so, you know, if I misconstrue something, please, you know, feel free to, you know, correct me or, um, you know, show me some links that you think I might uh, enjoy, you know, giving me a deeper appreciation of this. But how it basically works is that in XML, apparently, I've never created an XML uh, file before, besides, like, I did some Android uh, programming at one point and you know it's like a, a modified uh, or not even a modified it's just Android XML which is different than web XML but in XML you can construct entities uh, and then call those entities later right so in this code example we have 10 entities here um, so we have law 9 um, and then going all the way down to law 1 and then before that we have just law and so each uh, of the numbered laws calls the law before it. 
So law nine has ten law eights in it. Law eight has ten law sevens in it. Law seven has ten law six in it, etc. And so what happens is this last uh here when the XML uh is loading this document, you have this one uh, law's root element, it says, and it just has law nine, right? But because it's already an entity, um, it goes to this entity law nine definition here and replaces it with this law eight, law eight, law eight, law eight. Uh, but because law eight itself is an entity, it replaces it with law seven, law seven, law seven, etc. right? So each of these law eights is getting one replacement of this whole thing. So in this case, I think this is like kind of the code example, the original instance of this, right? Um, they each have 10 uh, inside each entity. So this law eight is replaced by uh, one of these, which is 10 law sevens. And so is this law eight, law eight again. So what was originally 10 law eights becomes 100 law sevens, you know, 10 squared, 10 times 10. But then it's repeated down the line. So, you know, each law seven is replaced by law six. Each law six is replaced by law five. Um, and it's, it, uh, it's called the billion laughs attack because when you kind of like unpack, you know, kind of like this, um, you know, this like, uh, you know, the unfolding Russian egg or whatever, or the nesting doll. Um, once you get to the root of it, you've unpacked one billion times, you know, uh, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, you know, 10 to the nine times. Uh, and apparently, I don't know if this is one of the things that, you know, I'm curious about because it seems like there are some defenses in place against the attack. But it says the problem was first reported in as early as 2002, but began to be widely addressed in 2008. So I don't know if this is still like a pertinent problem that, um, you know, uh, web devs have to still consider or, you know, have to um, plan for, you know, in our current day and age. But it says that once you unpack all billion laws, because it goes down to this, you know, uh, un, um, unenumerated law, I guess you could call it. It's almost three gigabytes of memory. And I was watching a YouTube video, which I think did a pretty good job of explaining it. I'll post it in the description as well. Um, they were saying that, like, uh, the three gigs is enough to, like, crash uh, crash a server. So that's why I said. I'm not sure if today, you know, that's still the case. Uh, you know, if someone told me in 2008, three gigs was enough to crash a server. I'd believe it kind of seems like the, it doesn't see, it doesn't seem too fitting, you know, in 2020. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's still the case, but that's all it is for this question. And we can even try it out. Um, I type in billion laughs attack. And now we're on the question two, just as a little preview, it just says 2020s seven. Uh, Son of Blank, Klaus von Stuffenberg's failed debut. Um, and just so you know, I did, I forgot to do it just now. I can't go back, unfortunately. But uh, when you go to the console and you type in help for question one, it just says, looks like you're on your own. So we're still like, you know, I think, like I said, I think it's sub 19 or sub 20. Like there are question, there are hints in the console for anyone um, who accesses them, like it says, oh, here it is. Uh, if I can zoom in, help will always be given out Hogwarts to those who ask for it. And this was for question one, checking level one, looks like you're on your own here. So yeah, sub 20, there are some hints. If you can go, go into the console, you type in help, uh, but there was nothing really there. I guess that was one of the reasons that I forgot to do it. That's all there was for, um, this one. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope this video finds you well. And I'll see you next time.